welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green, and I am Psychic Medium Tony Green here to give you an hour of entertainment. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is let you know, um, first and foremost, I will never, ever, ever reach out to you on any social media or any other way saying that, you know, book this, book that, do this, do that. I do have an email list. If you're on my email list, which you can get on on my website, I will do um, emails, but that's completely different than, you know, somebody popping up on social media. Um, so, yes, there's that. Um, okay, so I am on Instagram. I am on Facebook, TikTok. TikTok, I put my healings on. So if you want healings, go to TikTok. It's at Psychic Tony. Um, they, I try to remember to put them on Facebook and Instagram. Mm, sometimes I just don't do that. Mostly because I just forget. But so once I put them on, on uh, Instagram, sometimes then I'm off doing the next thing and forget to go back to that. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So today I will be taking callers. When I say your area code, please um, let me know your name and where you are calling from and then have a somewhat exact question available um, or connection, the name of a loved one and uh, who relationship, man, my brain is on slow motion today. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, like I almost finished a sentence and then right there, it just stops right there. Just what was the rest of that sentence? I don't know. Must not have been important. <laughs> so, okay. I want to thank everybody online today. Um, that is joining us live on YouTube. Mimi, you're so sweet. Thank you for that. Um, Rebecca, Ann. Uh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Amy. Um, and uh, thank you. Thank you. They're, they're online wishing me happy birthday because this Friday, I think it's Friday, is my birthday. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Um, thank you, Patrick. Um, I'm going to be, a go. okay, so I'm going to be starting the show in a second. And uh, so the way the show works, for those of you who are new, sometimes in the beginning of the show, if I have, if I, if I'm hearing songs or I have loved ones coming through, I'll say their name or whatever name they're giving me. That might be your name. That could be their name. Um, it could be a name of somebody that you both know. Um, and then if I hear a song, it could be a song they loved, you loved, or reminds you of them, or answers a question for you. Okay, so the first song I'm hearing this morning, and I think it's by Katy Perry. We're going there, folks. That song that goes, in another life. Yeah, I, I'm not a big, I'm not a huge fan of that artist. It's not like I rarely ever listen to that music. So I think it's her, but that's in another life or in another world, something like that. I think if you know, if you know the song, you know what it's for you. Okay. Um, and then I keep hearing this every single time. And I think it's for Cindy. Um, thank, thank God for unanswered prayers. That song. Yeah. And then the next one, yeah, In Another Life. Anne is saying it's In Another Life. Thank you, Anne. And then the next song I'm hearing, and I love this artist. He just makes me smile and laugh all the time. Like whenever his songs come on, which is very rarely, like I ju it just takes me someplace else. Um, it is Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. When he's trying to get at you, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I love him. He just makes me happy. His music makes me happy. Um, his little beats and such make me happy. 
Okay, so that's the third song I'm hearing. And then I, I'm, oh, no, you did not. This one just, just in my friends, just in my friends. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Don't, 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 was a good friend of mine. <laughs> Never something, something, but I helped him drink his wine. <gasps> Joy to the world. Oh my God. See, they start singing and I'm going word by word of the words I can pick up. And then once I get to the main verse, I'm like, oh, that's where we're going with this. And I think that's I think that's what that song. Jump to the world. And I'm not gonna try to sing the whole I would sit here and try to sing the whole song to make sure it's right, but that cracks me up. Jeremiah was a bull. I don't think it's Jeremiah was a bullfrog. <laughs> Maybe it is. Does anybody know? Is that the opening line to that song? Now that I'm listening back in my head, I'm like, anyway, if that's your song, you're going to know that's your song. You're just going to know, oh, that's my song. Okay. And then the names I'm hearing on the other side are actually um, Jeremy, not Jeremiah, but Jeremy. Jeremy is on the other side. And then the, the next person that we have coming through. Okay, so the next person we have coming through, I think it's for a listener. I don't, this could be the person's name, but it could be for the somebody who listens to my show because it comes through almost every show, Maria. And then the, the next person, Oh, the next name I'm hearing is Charlotte. And I had an Aunt Charlotte and I just adored her. I loved her. I'm going to tell you guys something. My mom, who is in heaven now, um, she used to keep me home from school on some Fridays. <laughs> and we used to go by my... <laughs> Aunt Charlotte and my uncle Weepy, that's what we called him, but his name was Yuppie. Uh, we used to go by their house and play poker. I was I was kind of young, right? I was I was a little bit young at the time. I mean not way too young, but pretty young. And not like five or six. I was, you know, junior high, high school age. And I used to love that more than you can imagine. And I'm so like, people would say, Oh, my God, how could she do that? Those are some of my greatest memories. And let's all face it, I was never going to be a scholar. <laughs> I wasn't missing much of home school. <laughs> Um, but we used to go there and play uh, poker cards, and my uncle was such a serious poker player. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh, I miss them all so very, very much. I do. I miss them tremendously. Oh, what we wouldn't give for one more day, right? Just one more day, one more hour to sit and say all the things they hear us think anyway, right? But I, I do want to thank my aunt and my uncle for those Friday afternoons because they were awesome. They were some of the best. Actually, those are some of my best childhood memories, believe it or not. They're some of my best childhood memories were going to my aunt and uncle's house with my mom and playing poker. And uh, the, the ridiculous thing is my aunt used to give me soda and potato chips and M&Ms. And I used to love it so much. I mean, I would just be so excited to have that because my mom didn't keep a lot of junk in the house, right? So when I would go there and have the soda and the, the salty potato chips with the chocolate, you girlies know what I'm talking about right now. You do know what I'm talking about, girlies. And I love it. And I still, to this day, 
anybody says let's play poker i'm like let's go i might not remember the games i might not remember how to play all of them but i'm like let's go let's play come on get the cards are we playing with real money oh good okay <laughs> fake money's better <laughs> um but yeah it was it was so much fun it was so much fun. Okay, back to the show. <laughs> um, and then here comes the next song. Um, do -do 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 -do. Uh, I, this is a really old song. It, and I know one of the lines in it, they're giving me one of the lines is back to the hotel. Um, do -do 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 -do. I know this song. It's like one of the first rap songs or one of the first like hip hop rap songs. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It'll come. It probably won't come to me. So if anybody knows what that song is, please put it in. And then the other one was a salt and this morning I was hearing salt and pepper not push it, but a different song by there. So if you're a big salt and pepper fan or they were a big salt and pepper fan, please bring it on in. Um, and then um, Tina Turner. Oh, Tina, this just came in. Tina Turner, um, what's love got to do with it is coming through right now. So whoever that's for, I think I, I feel like I should be saying I'm sorry right now. What's Love Got to Do With It by Tina Turner. And I was working on names, but now they're flooding me with songs again. So the next thing, um, Salt and Pepper, Shoo. That is the song. That is magic. That is the song. Shoo, doo, be, do. Yeah, it, maybe. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Um, let's see. I think that's the song, Patrick. Yes. Um, okay. I, sh I feel like I need to get to callers and they're just here with their names and like all over here and a couple over here. There's someone behind me that I wish would move. Get out of, get, get out. I don't, I don't care where I am, even in a restaurant. I don't like people behind me. Like it's like, get, 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 scoot, scat, scoot, scat. Okay. I'm going to go to questions. It's time to go to questions. Um, and I am going to uh, be, oh, okay, Kate corrected me. It's not Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Is it bulldog? Jeremiah was a bulldog. Whatever Jeremiah was, he was a great friend of the skies. Was a good friend of mine. Never cared too much about something, something, something. But I helped him drink his wine. And I think it's joy to the world. So let's all do a fact check on that song and see what we come up with. Okay. 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 Thank you, Kate, for correcting that. All righty. I am um, going to go to the first caller. And I want to let people on YouTube know that if I don't get to your question during the show, I've been answering it after the show. I've just been tippy tapping that answer in there for you. So just so you know. Okay, the first caller. Sorry about sorry about rocking the screen. I'm trying to shake up my smoothie and and it like rock the whole thing. I'm so sorry about that. We're gonna go to 312. 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hi, my name is um, Brian. I'm calling on Chicago. How are you doing today? Hey, Brian. I'm doing good. How are you? Doing wonderful. Okay, so um, Brian. I'm calling because. Yeah, uh, go right? ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go. I was just going to say, as soon as you got on the phone, that song, that, that verse came back in. Do, 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 do. Uh, and and that back back to the hotel. I, I as soon as you said this is Brian, I heard that again. I'm like, oh, that song might be for him. Okay, I'm so sorry. Go ahead, Brian. You're good. Yes, I was calling because I had an interview today. Uh, I saw the company that I'm at today, and I have another interview on Monday. Uh, and both of those are for the same position of leadership. And I just want to know how do you see my chances in both. 
Monday's going to go really good. When you said I have another mo interview on Monday, I heard that's it. That's it. So whatever that means, whatever this interview is on Monday, that's going to pro propel you. Um, and I always say this to everyone, even if they say that's it, keep putting stuff out there. Keep looking. Keep um, keep um yeah keep looking and keep applying to places because you might be surprised at what else comes in i say that to everyone um what i'm also hearing for you brian is in your i'm so sorry everybody excuse me in your desired area that you want to be in go to the websites of the company that you want to work for and see if they have any positions you are wanting even though i think monday is going to be it and it's going to be really good it might be interesting to see what else is out there and again brian i'm hearing for you for you i'm a little, a little, a little i'm hearing this for you again there is something coming in that you're going to also be able to do on the side do not pass it up do not pass it up whatever's coming in that you will be able to do on the side, do not pass it up. Whether it's the speaking thing, and it, it, that might not be the first thing you do on the side, there's an opportunity that is coming to you. It's not a full-time day job, the position you're looking for. There's another thing coming to you that you're going to be able to do on the side, entrepreneurial, type of thing that is going to be able to uh, help you out a lot and lead you into something brand new and different eventually. Okay. So whatever this is, is this something he starts off like his own company and builds it up? No, I feel like it's already mm -hmm. something in existence, but I do feel like you're going to have the opportunity to be a part of it. So if I were using examples, I'm not saying this is it. The Monday's good. They just say for Monday's interview, that's it. I feel like that's good. I always tell everybody, keep looking just, to, just in case you get there and you don't like it. I mean, getting the job is part of it. Getting in there and loving it is another thing. But I always tell everybody, keep looking because you want that energy and that momentum to keep going. It's um, one of those things, but there's also another thing coming in on top of that. That's going to bring you, I, I don't, they're saying instant gratification, whatever that means. So what, so, okay, I'm going to give you a couple of different really weird examples. Now, this isn't about the, the full-time job thing. This is a side thing that I'm talking about right now. So there's a couple of side things that I've been involved with. One of them is the biomat. As soon as I laid down on this thing, as soon as I laid down on it, let me tell you, I could feel, and I obviously feel energy very easily, but as soon as I laid down on it, it felt like bubbles were popping in my energy, in my energy field. I can't even explain that. How do we even feel that? And then I could just feel so much going on in my body on this thing. I instantly looked at the woman, Barb, and I said, Barb, I, I need one of these. Do you sell them? And she started laughing. She's like, of course I do. I go, can I sell them? And she's like, yes, because I knew in that moment of laying on this, if this is doing this for me, it'll do it for other people. And I, I need this and I need to share it with others. So it's going to be something like that for you. And I'm not saying it's multi-level. I feel like it might be an opportunity, I don't know, with somebody who comes, who is like a someone you might know or know of. Maybe they're already involved in something, but I feel like there might be a, a storefront sort of thing. I don't know if this is something like, and okay. I'm not saying it's this. I know I, what you're talking about. You do know what I'm talking Oh, my gosh. Thank you, because I'm, I'm like ready to, to to commit this whole show to figuring this out for you. So I'm, I'm so happy. Well, they're saying don't miss this opportunity. 
whatever it is, roll with it. Um, and 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 Absolutely. be be a little and whatever it means for you for this, be a little bit aggressive about it. Okay, so once you get into it, don't be afraid to if it's if it has a thing about like marketing or telling people about it, be a little bit aggressive about it. Okay, that's that's what they're saying for you. So um, I'm going to leave that there. Monday's going to go really well. You're going now that now that they have the message about the side thing. Now they're going to say Monday's going to go really well. You're going to be really happy with it. Keep seeking out other opportunities um, for the next month. No matter what happens with Monday, they just want you to keep seeking out other opportunities for the next month. I don't know if that has to do with the side thing or no, just keep seeking out opportunities for the next month. So, you know, this is the right one for you. Okay. Whew. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you for calling. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I look forward to talking with you again. Okay. You too. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I just want to, um, for those of you who are new or may have forgotten, sometimes my words are a little stumbly. I'm still recovering from the concussion. When I normally, when, even when I when I channel or when I talk, I never have that issue. But um, please be patient if I am like having a little bit of an issue finding a word or uh whatever it is like that right there, just please, or finishing a sentence, please be patient and allow that to um, just work its way out. It eventually, either a different word will be sent to me or something. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller, 920-920. What's your name? And where are you calling from? Dawn and from Howard, Wisconsin. Hey, Dawn. Oh, my goodness. Dawn, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you, honey? Good, good, good. How can I help you today, love? I'm just curious. I got some things going on in my life, and I'm wondering if Greg has any comments or messages for me regarding what's going on. Yeah, the first thing I hear is be patient, go slow. So both of those things are saying to me, don't rush into anything. Make sure it's the right move at the right time for you. Don't feel like you need to do something yeah. just to do it. Take your time um, and don't push. Don't try to push for an outcome. Just allow everything to flow smoothly and to be where it needs to be. OK, don't let. OK, don't let uh, don't feel don't put pressure on yourself is what I'm hearing. OK, sweetie. And allow. Okay. Allow. OK. I'm just hearing it's time for you to just allow things to just simply happen if you can. If you can happen and be in that space where whatever's going to happen is going to happen, I'm just going to sit here and basically let it happen. That's where also start. I hear the word planning and I hear plan, planning for the future, and two things come in. The first thing, oh, Greg. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, what did he say? <laughs> the first thing is he did everything he could to plan for the future for you to make sure that you were set up for the future, that everything was in place. Okay. Second. Oh, okay. Uh, the second thing is planning for the future and start to plan travel. You don't have to travel now through the summer, but when, uh, fall into winter or especially that January time have some trips put together he's also saying Michelle 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 um, Michelle Michelle needs you like in some way like maybe excuse me I'm so sorry everybody maybe not your physical presence right now but she does need that Michelle needs needs your needs you like she needs that connection. So don't think so 
not that you would, because I know you have a very kind and gentle heart, but she needs that connection, that verbal, verbal, verbalization with you and that you, yep. and that you two are bonded in a very special way, regardless of everything else. And don't, um, I know you would never take that for granted, but don't think it's because of anything else other than you. Okay. And then the last, okay. the yep. last message or the, for right now, the next thing that he is saying to you, oh, that's not what I thought he was going to say something else. Um, he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Always did. Always will. You were the one that was it. Um, wow. And so just so you know that, and, uh, but the other thing is, don't be afraid to spread your wings and fly, to get out, to go, to enjoy this world, to have that time and that space to, to just see things. And don't be afraid if somebody's traveling to say, hey, do you mean, hey, um, is this a, like, let's just say, for example, a couple is traveling, but they're going someplace that you might, you know, you might think, hey, that would be a cool place to, to visit. Um, say, hey, is this uh -huh. a personal trip for the two of you? Is it sentimental? Is it romantic? Would you like a third or and a fourth? Or um, or do you guys just want to yeah. go along, alone? Don't be afraid to politely invite yourself. Um, everybody would love to have you travel with them. Everybody would love to have you travel with them. Okay, so don't think that if you ask, it's... Um, going to be taken the wrong way and i am going to tell you that even if you set something up and you say hey i'm going i'm thinking about going here who who would want to go people will jump on and they will never look at you as a third wheel they will always want you there um and so that is what he is saying and he loves you he loves you he loves you he loves you okay sweetie pie uh, okay yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you are so All right. Thank welcome. you very much for your time. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Take yeah. care. You too. Thank you, my love. And we will chat again soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Mm, okay. Bye, Tony. Bye-bye. Um, I'm going to answer a YouTube question. Oh, Patrick. Jeremiah was a bullfrog, was a good friend of mine. Never understood a single word he said. Yes, that's those, but I helped him drink his wine. Um, um, and he always had some mighty fine wine. Boy, every week they pull out a song. Somebody told me like on Monday they pulled out working in a something and I couldn't get the words and somebody said it's coal mine working in a coal mine something 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 Ooh, uh, whatever so it was that was the song on Monday I couldn't get the, the all of the words to so um thank you Maris for the birthday wishes I very much appreciate that hey Genevieve and Kathy and Maris thank you for joining the show so happy you guys are here um okay Oh, I'm going to go to, is there a question? Nancy, I think Nancy has a question. Yep. Do you see, Dan, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy wants to know, do you see me meeting like-minded people and perhaps a significant companion? Ooh. Um, after making my move to Oklahoma. Oh, thank you. Um, yes. Yes. Pay when okay, Nancy. When you move to Oklahoma, pay attention to the areas that you're going into. So here's the way I try to say it to people: When you go into an area, if you feel the same, that's the energy you're at right now. If you feel better, that's a higher energy, um, and you want to strive towards that. If you feel like guarded, weird, or you notice your energy is a little off, that's a lower or a different energy vibe than you're on, what your normal energy is. So you want to go back to an area 
And it's the same with jobs and everything else, everything. So you want to go back to an area where you feel like you or better. That's always the goal. When you're looking for a place, work, whatever it is, and you walk in, see the way you feel. So how does this feel? Do I feel more upbeat? And is this me feeling upbeat? Or is this the energy of the place that's making me feel upbeat? Always when you're looking for a place to live, go to the center, the very center of the home. And in the center of the home, you will be able to feel the energy and put your hand to the left, the right, or north, south, east, and west and see how you feel. And my telltale sign with homes is always walk in the basement. I do not care if it's an apartment building, if it's a duplex, if it's whatever it is, walk in that basement and walk to the back of that basement. If it does not feel good to you, do not move in. <laughs> do not move in. <laughs> I don't care. Just keep it pushing. Next. <laughs> Cross this one off the list. Next. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's not enough holy water for some places. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. There's just not enough holy water for some places. <laughs> oh, I wish I was joking. I wish I was joking. Okay, if you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is 845-277-9131. If you want to ask a question, please push the one button so that your hand goes up and I know you want to ask a question, okay? Excellent. I am going to go to the next caller who is 262. I think I know who this is. Hey, 262. Hi, Tony. It's Amy. Hey, how are you? <laughs> good. How are you? Good, good, good. Excellent. What's up today, Amy? What you want? What you need? So um, the question is, uh, a friend proposed a business idea to me um, more locally. And... I'm just wondering if that's a lucrative idea or how it's going to work out or anything, any feedback at all. Yes, it's lucrative. It will be lucrative. If that's, if that's the one question you have, yes, it will lu be lucrative. Uh, the only thing that I'm getting on this is make sure everybody's boundaries are intact and that you all know your roles in this. Remember, no matter how, okay. how, and sometimes how lucrative something is depends on how you feel about it and how much energy you put into it and how you present it. But I'm hearing it will be very lucrative. If that's your one question, it will be lucrative. Um, but again, we'll be friends at the end. <laughs> yeah, I do. You know what? As long as you both like, here's what I say. Anytime you go into business with somebody and it's a, a like a, a business business, know your role and don't step over that. Yeah. Don't start picking up on, you know, if yeah. I'm a business, it's like relation relationships and businesses can follow kind of the same guideline. And here it is. Know your role. Do your role. Make sure the other person knows their roles and let them do them. Don't start picking up their jobs or what they're supposed to do or letting them slack off, um, especially in a business thing. Because once you do it the first time, they, then they're thinking, oh, well, now she's going to do that. I'm going to let her know your role, keep your boundaries tight and keep moving with that. If you don't know your roles in the beginning, it's really tough lessons learning who's doing what and where it's going. Um, those beginning business decisions always depend upon um, those those beginning business decisions and how smooth it goes depends upon how much communication you put into it prior to starting. And, you know, having the same, what is that, ideas about... 
uh, promotion and moving forward and stuff, those are really big, important things. And there is a thing that companies do called A-B advertising, like they send out two advertising campaigns to see which one works the best. So if you and this person are promoting a product or advertising and you both have an idea, say, OK, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to send out mine. You send out yours and we'll see what where where it goes. And we, we might do that through the whole thing. You promote your way, I'll promote my way. You market your way, I'll market my way. If one of us gets better results or you know, we'll share what's working and what's not, but just communicate prior to it so that you can get into that space where you are having good, good results and you're not being like, oh, she wants to do it this way and it has to be that. It doesn't. You can both do it. Okay. So just make sure of that and have really healthy boundaries. But it, it will be lucrative. And I do feel like everybody has the best intentions going in. So you don't have to worry about somebody's trying to take advantage of, somebody's trying to do this. Just use good communication skills, write things out before you blurt them out that's always really important too okay awesome thank you i'm excited now yeah go for it you know go for it and i and i I'll i know in the loop i was just gonna say that please let you know later on let me know what this well, is i'll be consulting you too whether he, whether or not the other person consults you i'll be consulting you so i we'll love be, that we'll be setting up times I love that. And right. I'll, be, I'll be here for you. And as you know, spirit loves to good, give good consulting advice. So it will be awesome. Okay, Lynn? <laughs> right. Excellent. Yep, thanks. You're welcome, Amy. You're welcome. Okay. I want to say hey to, um, hey, Bon. Thank you. Elizabeth is here. Hi, Tony. What do you see for my financial future? Um Okay, um, Elizabeth, over the next month, it's going to be a little bit choppy or rocky up and down. And I think they're talking about June because, well, this is the last day of May. It's going to be um, choppy or blocky. Now, Elizabeth, I do want to say this. I feel like you're already seeking out or looking for another revenue or a way to bring in more revenue and if you could just comment below confirming a you're still here and i'm on the right track with this if you're not seeking out another form of revenue please do that um and i feel like you are seeking out a way to either bring in more revenue or Yeah, a, a way to bring in more revenue. And I'm going to say you're going to find it within the month of June as long as you keep seeking. And I'm going to encourage you to ride that wave. And they're literally showing me a big, huge wave and like someone like on a surfboard on the wave. Um, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I would say, personally, this is what I'm going to say, depending on, so Elizabeth, everybody, Elizabeth just said, I've been looking to invest my money in real estate or online business, real estate, real estate. I'm going to say July or August is when you are going to find the first ideal investment and then after that it will keep going now here's what i'm going to say to you be open to something that might be a little bit further out so a lot of times people want properties and this is not only for you for anybody listening that wants to invest a lot of times people want properties like they think this is the city i live in I want it to be right within my city for whatever reason. If you go a little bit further out, like where I live is here, and then a little further out, like maybe an hour away or so, is a little area called Waterford. And most of the houses, like they're a little, you know, are, are pretty whatever. But if you can find one that somebody hasn't updated, you can get it for an amazing price near water. 
and from there you go. Okay, from there you just go. Um, don't worry if it's a little bit away from you um, and out a little bit further. That's actually what you're going to want in this situation. Um, and it is going to be uh, the best thing for you. Make sure it's a good price. We can always fix things up. And if, if we get in here and we fix it up and it goes to here, that's what we want. We don't want to get in here and then have to wait for the market to determine that the price goes up. We want to get in low and, you know, get it up on our own. Um, so just make sure you're doing that. Okay, sweetie, that is what they're saying to me. And I don't know why I'm seeing this for you, Elizabeth. Um, if you go a little further out and you get into, I don't know if you're looking at the possibility of multiple units, like two houses versus one house, or I'm seeing for some reason, I'm seeing like a fourplex. And I feel like if you go further out, you're going to find a really good deal on a fourplex. And I don't know that that's a fact or that's even what you're looking for. But if if the, if you're open to that, they're saying look at that, go a little further out of your area, um, to where not a lot of people, it's not very populated, and not a lot of people are desiring that area yet. And then you're going to find a really good investment opportunity in a multiple living unit. Oh, ha. Huh. <laughs> Uh, and and Elizabeth says um, she is. Uh, yes, I'm looking for single families and multi units. And Elizabeth, if you tell me, um, I, we can talk a little bit. You live in Wisconsin. Uh, what part of Wisconsin? I might be able to stay out of Chicago, stay out of Illinois for sure. Stay out of Illinois. Um, if you tell me what part of Wisconsin, I might be able to help you out a, to narrow down the area. But I think you're going to have to look and you're going to have to feel it. Hey, Heather, how are you today? Okay, I am going to go to the next caller. And Heather, I'll get to your question. And then first name, last name, I will get to your question. 914, 914, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. My name is Catherine. I'm calling from New York. Hey, Catherine. How are you? Good. Thank you. And yourself? Good. How can I help you today? Good. On happy, happy early birthday. Um, thank you. You are amazing. So oh thank you for thank you. being you. And yes, yes. Happy plus year ahead. Um, I was wondering, please. I am um, having a party on the 16th of June, and I was wondering if you see it being well attended, if Adrian might show up, anything at all you pick up around it, I really appreciate it. I do feel like it will be well attended. I feel like it will be a really good event. Um, as far as Adrian goes, that's undecided at this point. Um, I want you, oh. what, what, um, spirit or your angels are saying is take your focus off of that, right? And plan the party as if. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the Adrian aspect of this. Just plan the party mm -hmm. the way you want it to be, but not with this focal point or worrying about this person. And you're going to have the best party and energy and everything. And don't have any expectations of anything um, because we don't want that disappointment, especially when we have other guests there is what I'm hearing. Now, the one thing I am saying, I am hearing when they say, when you say well attended, I want to explain what your angels mean by well attended versus what you might mean by well attended. Your angels are saying that for them, well attended means the right people will show up, meaning maybe not everybody um, on the lists shows up, 
but the right people are going to show up. And here's the thing. Look at where the moon is when this party is taking place. Because if we're holding a party uh, on or near a full moon, for example, we don't want everybody and their brother showing up because full moons make people act a little ooh, different, okay? They might indulge uh, a little more. They might be yeah. out of their element a little more. They might do and say things they normally wouldn't do. Um, but the right people showing up, like you can have the greatest get together with four people or 10, six people over having a, a lot of people and having it be chaotic and feeling very um, uh, out of out of control of the situation, not out of control of the situation, but like you're not, there's not enough of you to go around. So what I'm going to say is when they say it's well attended, the right people are going to show up, the perfect people are going to show up, and it's just going to be the greatest ambiance and it's going to flow perfectly. So whoever shows up is meant to be there and it will be very good. And if it is around that full moon time, which I think two weeks from now is close to the full moon time. It might be right after it. Um, if it is around that, I could be wrong. If it is around that, please make sure that you are um, also uh, planning a little bit for that too, um, in whatever way you could do that. I don't even know how you can plan for that. <laughs> but there's, you know, that is, that is, that is what they're saying to me. Okay, sweetie. Thank you. And I also had to let you know you were correct in the beginning when you were talking about Tina Turner. Um, I, I That resonated with me, too. I, I used to love that song, and I had an aunt pass. So when you said Tina Turner, and I'm sorry, um, that I feel that was for me. So I just had to let you know. Oh, my gosh. Um, Thank you well. so much. Thank you so, so much. I'm so grateful that that did resonate for you. And that you um, felt that and hello from heaven, right? Hello from heaven is all I yes. can say. Hello from heaven. Okay, sweetie. Thank you. God bless you. And again, happy, happy, blessed birthday. So much oh. love and blessings to you. Thank you. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. And um, you have an amazing rest of the week. Okay, love? Thank you. Yes, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, I'm going to answer another question online, and then I'm going to go back to the call logs. Um, 203, you will be next. Uh, first name, last name. Hi, Tony. I'm seeking a job. Any idea as to, oh, what field do you see me working in? That's, that's a pretty big question. Let's narrow that down. I have what I ideally want, but need to get a job ASAP as I need to move and show good income to the new landlord. Okay, first name, last name. Um, please let me know you're still here because before I answer questions, I like to make sure that the person is still listening. Um, Uh, please let me know. And Kathy, I'll answer your question in a second, and then I'll try to get to Heather's. Okay. Um, first name, last name, if you're still here. Yep, you're here. Okay. Um, what field you should go into? I'm, you know what, if you need a job ASAP, and I say this all the time, do something you can do or do two things you can do that where they hire people quickly and you can start bringing in cash quickly. And those jobs are typically um, in the restaurant business. In And right now, I'm going to tell you something. Restaurants and bars cannot keep people. Nobody wants to work. What are people, people that are not working, how are you bringing in money? Not everybody is li living in their mother's basement. How are you bringing in money? All you people who did not go back to work what you living on? How are you paying your bills? We all we all want to know. Because every time we walk into a store or any place, 
there's a sign and they keep upping their minimum wage from like 12 to 15 to 18 to 23 dollars and they keep saying we can't get people to come back to work we, we just can't get people to come back to work what you doing how are you paying your bills as the rest of us want to know don't don't get keep that secret let us know so we can do it too i mean i'm just saying what i'm saying and what i'm saying is let us know how we can live that life too that's all i'm saying okay 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 um okay a minute okay so again uh, one of the things that i'm getting is retail and restaurants every i don't care what level of restaurants bad food fast fast food Fast food restaurants to fine dining, they are in such need of people, um, even management. And then retail, any retail from um, the big box stores to uh, any like individual little whatever store. Now, if you want, if you're, if you've been in management, this does not have to be your forever position. Okay. But for now, this is where they're telling me to tell you to go and also be open to something that can bring you in cash on a daily. Like you are bringing in uh, money in hand daily. Be open to that too. Okay. I hope that's, um, uh, you, you prefer, Consultant, okay, first name, last name says, I'm looking for manager positions. I prefer consultant, self-development, corporate corporate jobs, but still figuring out how to get that job. Okay, why don't you start your own business? Listen, I will always tell everybody to be an entrepreneur. I will always tell everybody to be an entrepreneur. And if you can consult, if you know how to consult, start your own thing. Social media is the best way to start um, to start marketing and promoting and doing what you want to do. Uh and you know what, if you're consulting for people individually, companies or businesses on a contract basis, that's the fastest way to bring in the biggest checks. If you're not the type of person who can see that vision, get the job you can now and work toward the job you want later. Okay, thank you so much. First name, last name. I hope that was helpful. I'm going to go to 203. 203, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Tony, hi, it's Pat. Hello. Hey, Pat, Happy how are birthday. you? Oh, thank you yeah, so much. I'm okay. Thank you. How can I help you, love? I'm okay. Um, I had a short conversation with my new mechanic, who I'm just really adoring, about uh, digging, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, digging probably needs to be four feet. I was asking him about tools and um you know cutting roots and so on and he said i actually could do jail time for this um because it's going to be on public land and he's talking about if the aspca finds out about what you're doing he said something about if the dog sick or something i'm not i didn't really get it but i'm okay. wondering if so, i should give up this idea so one of the things that I said when we had a short conversation is, you know, whatever you decide to do, keep it very private. Keep it very, very private. Whatever your next move is, nobody else is supposed to know about it. This is a very private situation and a very private move. And I'm not I'm not giving you permission to do anything illegal. And I'm not saying don't whatever. What I'm saying is whatever your next move is, don't look for permission. Don't look for advice. When the time comes, you're just going to feel what's right and you're going to be able to do it. Um, I do feel like when that time comes for that move and making that choice, you're going to know exactly the right place and the right time to do it. But until then, don't talk to anybody else about it because everybody has opinions. Everybody has ideals. And again, I'm not condoning doing something necessarily that's illegal. 
Okay, right. that's that's not right, at all right. what yeah. I'm saying. What I'm saying is everybody's going to have an idea of what they think is this, that, or the other thing. So whatever your next move is, um, Pat, I need you to keep that private. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you understand what I'm saying to you with that. And I look forward to talking to you a little bit later okay, or Tony. very, very soon. Okay, love? Uh, all right. Thank you, love. Thank you, Tony. Happy You're, birthday again. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm at the point where I start cutting people off because there's such a little bit of time left. Um, <laughs> Patrick wants to know, Tony, do you see yourself going on an exotic vacation in the near future? God, I hope so. Uh, work does not always allow that, but I do see myself um, wanting that in the near future. I can tell you that much. Um, Heather wanted to know, hi, Talia, how are you today? Um, and remember, if I don't get to your questions while the show is live, I will be answering them afterwards. And so real quick, everybody, if you want to join the show live, um, it's every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. You can join by calling in 845-277-9131 or by on YouTube where you can join the chat, talk to everybody in the chat, ask me questions in the chat or connect to loved ones in the chat also. Um, if I don't get to your questions during the show, which needs to be within that 60 minute mark, because this does air on TV and, you know, TV goes in 30 and 60 minute sessions. So I have to keep it within those constraints. Um, then I will try to answer in the chat afterwards. So if I did not get to you, please hang around a little bit after the show. And I'm just going to pop some answers in there for people that I didn't get to during the show. Um, if I, if in the amount of time I have, because I do have clients right after the show today. So I, I will have like five minutes to be like, da, 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 and get out of here and get to the office. So, um, Heather wanted to know about a health issue. There were two questions further up here. The random person, um, Thank you, Heather, for the happy birthday. Uh, should I worry about my latest health problem that was found? I hear no. I, I hear you should take care of it, but you don't necessarily have to worry about it. And Erin wants to know what is coming up in my dating life. August. I feel like in until August, it's going to be, let's, you know, let's, let's just uh, keep it cat, um, keep it light. And then in August, September, more towards September, you're going to, uh, you have the possibility of meeting somebody that could be a longer term situation with you. Okay. Ah, I don't have time. I want to take one more caller, you guys. And I'm so sorry, I don't have time. Um, again, I will be um, answering a few of the questions below. Let me see if I can just get one more question in here. Um, 90 seconds. Kathy, did you ask me a question? If you ask the question, Kathy, can you ask it again? Uh... Oh, let me see. Do you, Rebecca wants to know, Tony, do you have any messages from my uncle Pancho? Yes. Um, the first thing that comes through is keep it coming, love the song. Keep it coming, love. Don't stop it now. Don't stop it now. Don't stop 60 it now. Seconds. Okay. And then um, what he's saying is keep going and not necessarily in a love situation, but keep Keep going and growing within yourself. Do whatever you need to do at this point in the game to have self-growth or self-love, inner growth and self-love. That is the message um, because when you do that, then everything else is going to fall into place for you, Rebecca. I hope that's helpful. Thank you, everybody, so much for being here. I love you all so much. We will chat again very, very soon.